Hello, welcome to the video on how to win at Guess Who. This is very exciting. Basically, there's about three and a half strategies of how to win at Guess Who. Three, or, three different ways of playing it. Um, the first way is to pick one character at a time. If you're doing this, you're going for a lucky win. Um, you could win in one turn doing this, um, but it could also take a long time. Um, there's also the strategy of picking small groups, like five at a time and try and eliminate pockets of people to try and narrow down your guess. And the third strategy is to divide it in half each time. We have a fourth strategy, and that's because I've played this with my cousins, nieces, nephews, um, little kids, um, and there's just some times where they just are completely random, and there's not really any strategy to it. I'm not really counting that as a, as a strategy, but um, the sad thing is, is that they sometimes win. Um, all right, so here's how to how these strategies will play out. In strategy one, one at a time. Basically, you say, you know, does is the person named Alex? Is the person named Alfred? Does this person have um, little ponytail braids, pigtails? No. Is the person Anne? No. Is it Bernard? And you could go all the way through this. You can win in as little as one turn, but you can also take 24 turns to actually get to your character. It's an average of about 12 turns um, to win playing this way. Makes sense. All right. Strategy two is um, to make small groups. I'll show you an example of that. People in this are grouped into groups of five. All right. There's five people with black hair, five people with red hair, five people with blonde hair. There's only four uh, brown-haired people that I can find on there, um, but mostly they're grouped into groups of five. Five um, people who have mustaches. One, two, three. Yeah, so there's a lot of different facial hair, I guess. Um, there's all sorts of different things, and they seem to be all in groups of five. So what you can do is eliminate five at a time, like white hair. People that have white hair, boom. People who have blonde hair, boom. Eliminate five more. People with red hair. Now, the, the challenge with this is that you pretty much have to use the same characteristic, like red hair brown hair, blue hair, or black hair, yellow hair, blonde hair, um, because they overlap quite a bit. Like you have bald people with red hair and blonde hair and white hair. And, you know, so so the overlapping makes it a little bit challenging. But you can still eliminate five per round if you just stick to hair color. But then on your last round, um, with the brown colored hair people, you can eliminate usually two you know, there's two big noses, two small noses, um, and then in your last one, male, female, you can kind of get it down there. So you can win in six rounds. Six rounds would be the longest it would take you to win playing playing in this way. Okay, so the longest um, amount it would take you is six. It can you can also win in as few rounds as three if you happen to guess the group of five the first time and then divide it in half and, and you're kind of lucky you can win in, in two, maybe three rounds. Um, it's a good strategy. It will work a lot of the time. It's, it's definitely a better strategy than the first one. The last strategy I'm going to tell you is the strategy of dividing and conquering. This is a strategy where you basically um, cut the players in half each time. So you in round one, you remove 12 people. In round two, you remove six more. So you're cutting it in half each time. Three more, remove one, or you win. Um, and then, so by round five, you will definitely win doing it this way. So the advantage of this is that it can take up to five rounds to win. So it's the quickest guaranteed way of winning. But it also um, has no chance of a, an instant victory. You can't win in one round doing it this way. So if you're more of a gambler, you might not go this route. But it is, statistically speaking, the quickest guaranteed way of actually winning. Now, I saw another video on this. And um, this it went over the math of it. And he said if you try if you do this method of eliminating half and half and half you'll win about 80% of the time so if you just challenge people to a best 4 out of 5 80% is or best 3 out of 5 
80% is 4 out of 5, and so your chances statistically go way up, like 96% chance of winning if you do the dividing in and half method, which is very, very cool, especially if I want to beat my, you know, seven-year-old son at this game. So I want to make sure to do that. Anyway, so uh, this video is posted in the comments. Um, it's, it's a neat video. It's a little bit long, but goes over kind of the math of how to do that. Now, if we're kind of granting that this is the best way, let's talk about how to actually do this. How can we do the divide and conquer method um, and actually win? The key to it is asking good questions. The rules don't give any limitations on the kind of questions you can ask. You can ask about any characteristic or even about their name. You can combine questions like, do they have red hair or white hair, for example. So you can combine things together. You can ask really broad questions so that you can cover um, the most number of characters. So let's look at um, this group of characters and try and put together a couple of strategies that would give you a 12 to 12 ratio. First off, I'm going to start with red hair and white hair, but red and white hair makes only 10 people. So what we need to do is look through there for a characteristic that's already selected and has only two more unselected people. In this case, I picked glasses. You notice that glasses are there. Um, you could have also picked hats, it looks like. Oh no, there's three people with hats that are not selected. No, there's Eric, Bernard, and Maria. Yeah. So I picked glasses. Red hair, white hair, and glasses. So that would be one way to do it. Does your character have red hair, white hair, or glasses? You'd be able to, to eliminate 12 of them. Here's another one. Blonde hair, that's 5. Black hair, that makes it up to 10. And a hat. There we go. So there's another one. You can do this. Oh, wait, there's, another, there's a third hat, Claire. So that would actually be 13 out of the 12. Still pretty close, though. Um, so what you can do is use this strategy for making groups of 12, all right, or 13 in this case because Claire's not selected. Um, the last strategy is kind of a cop-out almost, but um, just say the name that starts with the letters A through G. Like that's a way to really reduce it down quickly and you don't have to worry about any other characteristics except their, their names. So um, that would be kind of a quick way to do it. So you can do names that start with the letters A through G. Okay. Um, so anyway, again, this is one strategy that will work and you just look at the characters and try and pick out things that will divide them in half. So good luck, have fun, and have a great day.